Welcome back to Lark Hall in Scotland for round three of the Ultimate Karting Championship. We turn our attention now to some of our younger drivers making their way in the world of motorsport in the form of the Honda Cadets. Leon Hasty put himself on the podium at Wilton Mill and he took the win at Raura. He's now leading the championship and I caught up with him earlier. Leon, great to see you here this weekend. You're leading the championship. You got yourself a third at Wilton Mill and a first at Raura. You must be thrilled with how this season is going. Yeah, it's going quite well compared to only doing one round last year, but I hope it keeps going on. And we're up here at Lark Hall in Scotland. Uh, judging by the badge there on your race overalls and your accent, you're from this part of the world. Is this a circuit you know well? Yes, I know the circuit very well. I've been here quite a lot for when I was younger as well. Tell me a little bit about Lark Hall. What's the circuit like? Would you call this a technical circuit or a fast circuit? What's the key to doing well this weekend? Um, I would say just keeping your cool. And it is quite a technical circuit at some parts. So just trying to get good exits and late breaking, it's quite fun. And are there any particular corners or parts of the circuit where you know you can get overtakes done? Yeah, the end of the straight is quite a key one. And the last corners are also a really good one for like speed. This weekend in the SFR town, it's not too pressurised. I'd say it's quite calm. So it feels quite nice to be in there. And have you got a good selection of teammates with you this weekend? What's the what's the crew like from the Honda Cadet? Um, it's quite good. Some of them aren't as fast as the other, but you can still push with them and they can still tow with you. Uh, the two races that I think will be chasing me this weekend are probably my teammate Albie Friend and Senator's driver Cole Dynam. Best of luck for the weekend and thanks for talking to us. Thank you, it's been nice. So from pole position, Leon Hasty has the best chance yet of grabbing a Scottish victory. Lucas Bladford alongside him on the front row, then Cole Denham and Lachlan Johnstone, Palazzo, Howes, Friend, Reed, Alexander Reed, and Charlie Wolfitt in the top 10. And of course, let's not forget that with Honda Cadet, you get that added adrenaline rush of the standing start. It's the only category in the Ultimate Karting Championship that doesn't deploy a rolling start. So these guys have definitely got to keep their wits about them. You can lose races on this standing start just by not being alert and getting the decent run. You've got to be very careful not to get bogged down as well. Throttle control is such a big deal in this category. We went from the start, here we go. And it's a good start from Lucas Blanford. He actually gets a better launch initially from Leon Hasty. Hasty has the inside line though. Is that gonna be enough? He's still there, he's still there to the inside line and he gets some support from Cole Denham. And through they go past the fast starting Lucas Blanford, who just about manages to hold on to third position as well. He very nearly lost that position. So a very good start. And it's three wide out of the hairpin. You don't see that every day from the teammates. Goodness me. That was a very tough moment for SFR Motorsport. I bet they broke a sweat. One or two heartbeats missed, I'm sure, as Cole Denham now runs right in behind Leon Hasty. They go into the hairpin for the first time, and Lucas Blanford, after that brilliant start, is backed up into third position, but there's still a lot to go in this race. Lucas Blanford in his first appearance in the championship this season, Jake, and he's done well so far to get the grid position he did. What can he do in the race, though? It's a long way to go, and he's clearly got uh, good reflexes and a good reaction, so if the other two in front of him do get a little bit uh, messy and scrappy out in front, he's got an opportunity to stamp on it. Palazzo in fourth place, then it's Albert Friend from Gregor and Alexander Reed, John Stone, Howes, Musk, Wolfit, Ryan White and Finley Smith, then Ellis Bell is in the mix, and Alexander Kojikov is in there as well, so this could be a very interesting run. From the leaders, they come again, Leon Hasty and Cole Denham, Lucas Blanford is being hunted down by Matteo Palazzo. So this is not going to be easy. And look, Cole Denham is already trying to play the long game here with Leon Hasty. He's trying to stretch away. He knows that Lucas Blanford could be a genuine threat. So he doesn't want to battle with Leon Hasty at all. He's going to let the Scotsman do all the hard work. He's going to sit in behind him, stretch away, and hope that they are going to get a decent enough gap that they won't be threatened again. Absolutely. Leon Hasty, race leader, is the championship leader as well. Man in second is third in the championship. And Albert Friend just going through the picture there on the 91. He is uh, second in the championship, I believe, but fifth on track currently. Always a tricky dynamic when you're in that top three of the championship and you can see your opponents two or three cards ahead of you because you've just got to try and keep the focus. And remember, it's not all won and lost in one final. It's not all won and lost in one race weekend. You've got to just keep the focus, stay patient. Just because things aren't going well on this lap of this race, there are still plenty of opportunities to build it back again. 
second on track is the fastest man on track but doesn't have track position at the moment i'll say at the moment because it's uh, looking like he may take the opportunity if he gets an opportunity down the inside or, or if uh, leon hasty gives him the opportunity that is he will take the opportunity and go down the inside and perhaps take the lead that was palazzo picked out there in fourth place it's a bit of a gap back to Blanford in third, and then Palazzo in fourth, then you've got Ooh. this battle for fifth. That's not the first time that Lachlan Johnstone has tried to get that move on the inside of an opponent and just been completely run out of road on the inside gap there. He's tried to get an inside line, the textbook opportunity. He keeps himself planted, but he just doesn't quite get alongside his opponent enough to stick his front fairing into that gap and give himself the authority to take the position. He's so close to it, and you can see he's definitely got the hunger, but it just hasn't quite worked out yet. Blanford third position, desperately trying not to fall away, and full credit to Matteo Palazzo there in fourth position. It is not easy for a privateer to run at the front of Honda Cadet these days. Absolutely. These teams are so strong, and being a privateer up in the top five of this field, that is incredible. No doubt, and Blanford needs Palazzo just to join him so that they can work together and try and close this gap. These two working together, as you can see, you've got Blanford behind with no one to work with at the moment. Uh, neither is Palazzo, by the way. So Blanford will be, if he's not looking behind, he's probably thinking, oh, somebody come and give me a bit of a shove. Let's uh, work together and try and close this gap on the leaders because without that, it's almost impossible for Lucas Blanford to get back to the leaders, especially with the gap. It was 1.1, it's now 1.5, so he's lost four tenths in that one lap alone. So Logan Howes was trying to get his move there on Alexander Reed in the middle part of the lap. Hasn't quite been able to get that one shut down. Gregor Reed is fending off from Lachlan Johnstone, who is still threatening to get that move up the inside line. But Leon Hasty and Cole Denham the roar and the hum of those Honda Cadet engines. You can tell them from a mile away. They don't sound like any other car in this paddock. And they are wonderful to watch. They may be the smallest drivers in this field, but I tell you what, they are some of the most gutsy and determined drivers. And I've said this time and time again with the Cadet classes, you get a lot more overtaking opportunities because the wheelbase of the cart and the width of the chassis are so much smaller than you get with the junior and senior carts. So you've got more overtaking opportunities. You've got more racetrack to play with in the cadets. So the drivers have more of an opportunity to stick their cart up the inside because the gap is actually wider. On board with Lucas Blanford as he tries to get that podium. He's there at the moment. Not bad for a debut in 2021 in the Ultimate Karting Championship. In this field, getting up to the front five in your first weekend is quite astonishing. I think he's also a privateer, Jake, if I remember rightly. I may be wrong there, but I think he's running as a privateer in this one this weekend. So, again, privateers, therefore, in third and uh, fourth. Charlie Wolfitt really starting to step up the attack now in behind Albert Friend and Gregor Reed, and it's not going to be too long before he makes the opportune move. And, in fact, he was helped there because the 91 has lost ground to both of them. Reed and Wolfitt getting past Albert Friend. Friend is trying to get it on the way back out. He's had to blend off the throttle and concede the position. He almost lost the place to Alexander Reed there in result of that. And up the inside, Charlie Wolfert picks up another one. Goodness me, he's got his confidence now. Not good for Friend in terms of the championship. That is Charlie Wolfert on the 55, now leading that battle. Oh, and a big a launch up the inside as well. That was Alex Reed, I think, getting his move on Albert Friend. So I think Friend is now down to eighth position. Uh, seventh place, in fact. So Lachlan Johnston is in eighth now in front of Alexander Reed. So uh, it's business as usual for Albert Friend in trying to stay in the hunt, but he's now in the middle of that gaggle of drivers. That is not where he wants to be. Alex Reed is trying to get the run on the inside of Lachlan Johnstone, and he's made it. That is such a difficult move on the hairpin to just keep the throttle open and keep it on the inside apex because it's so scrappy on that inside, a little bit dusty too. Logan Howes now puts himself up the inside of Lachlan Johnstone and he gets through as well. Excellent racecraft in the Honda Cadet at the moment. Great battle, great battle. Further back here in the group. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, on the inside. That's another choice overtaking move as they are still battling away. Alex Reed now gesturing to the two men behind. Come on, let's stop this battle. Let's stop racing each other. These guys are getting away up front. We are so slow by comparison because we're spending so much time scrapping away. It's all very well, Lachlan Johnston getting that move back on Logan Howes. But you guys, you're slowing us all up. We're having races and we shouldn't be battling with these with each other right now. We need to close up on the guys that have already made us look like charmers for the last couple of laps. Yeah, 
Lampford now 1.2 behind, so there's one and a half, so he is closing them, which is a little bit of a surprise to me, Jake, because the two out front still not battling. And look at that, Blanford definitely Absolutely. is getting closer. And that is quite remarkable when the two out front are not overtaking each other, they're just working together, and Blanford putting in a stellar performance here. Look at this, he's definitely closing the two leaders. He certainly is, he's catching them very quickly up the inside of Alex Reed. Both drivers get the chance, Johnstone and Howes both get through, and a frustrated Alex Reed puts his hand in the air. Why are you overtaking me? We need to catch the guys in front. I'll tell you why they're overtaking you, because they've managed to find the gap and they've managed to find a little bit more speed off the turn. He's getting frustrated. He clearly wants to play the long game. Either that or he's just trying any trick to keep them back. This result so far, if it stood, Albert Friend in seventh. This is not a good result for him. Second in the championship. No, indeed. In seventh with uh, oh. his championship contender out front. Look at, look, look at this look at head the tapping. <laughs> look at this head tapping. It's like, what are you guys doing as House gets on the inside of John Stone and Alex Reed? They are still gesturing to each other as Charlie Wolford is about to lose ground. Up on the inside, defending the position from Matteo Palazzo. Matteo Palazzo has been caught by Wolfett and Reed. And then Albert Friend is in there as well in seventh place. So Matteo Palazzo has been well and truly hunted down. And they are side by side for ninth and tenth. That is now Alexander Reed losing out again as up the inside. Ryan White is now trying to take 10th position away. Whoops, up and over the curbs. He was fortunate that that didn't spit him off the road there as they continue to battle away for the top 10. But now Alexander Reed is down to 11th behind Ryan White. Hose and Johnston have, uh, uh, Logan House, sorry, and Al uh, Lachlan Johnston <laughs> struggling to get me worms out. They're going so quickly around this place. Trying to keep up with them is uh, just enough of a job. This is such a tight battle now. For fourth place, you've got Palazzo hanging on for dear life in front of Charlie Wolfitt, gesturing to them. Come on, we can catch the leading trio. I don't think Wolfitt thinks so. He's diving up the inside, but Blanford has definitely got his sights set on Hasty and Denham. And look at that squabble for fourth position. Palazzo has had to lose ground there. Wolfitt's come through. I'm fairly sure that's Reed through. Albert Friend has not quite made it through yet. Now you can see that Blanford was 1.2 behind, then 1.1, now a second behind, and he's just getting closer and closer. It's a remarkable performance. If you know anything about cadet racing, when drivers work together, they pull away from the driver behind when the driver's got no friends to play with. Not, uh, let's see, 0.8 now. So Blanford is quicker than the two leaders. He is indeed. Fair play to Albert Friend. He actually leapfrogged past Palazzo and Gregor Reed in that little tussle for the four drivers. So he's managed to get himself into fifth now behind Charlie Wolfett. That was very good. Look at this. Now Cole Denham checks over his shoulder. Where have you come from? We were miles ahead of you a couple of laps ago. Yeah, and Blanford now. is now just a few metres. Uh, only a couple of cart lengths behind them. This is now a three-man scrap. And that's not 0.8 of a second, is it? It's no, closer it's not. than that. He's right on them now. This is an absolutely incredible performance. Wherever he finishes, oh, that, it's, I can't tell you how difficult it is to come back from one, one and a half seconds behind he was early <laughs> on when the two guys out front are not even battling. Look how nervous Denham is, checking over his left shoulder almost every apex to figure out where Lucas Blanford is going to try and strike. Now Denham knows he's there. You can't be looking over your shoulder. You've got to be focused on one man, the man in front, Leon Hasty. You've got to get past him, and you've got to do it before Blanford makes his bid. Denham's now protecting and defending to move to cover. He knows he can't afford to lose second place. He's got to go for Hasty before Blanford goes for him. This is his chance. Not much time on the clock. There's going to be two laps remaining, I think, when they go through the line next time. And here goes here we go. Cole Denham, and this is why he's going for the lead, Jake. Now, he wants the lead because he knows he's under pressure from behind. And he's now back. Look, he's trying to back Hasty into Blanford. He wants Blanford to make the overtake for second place. They're both going to drift wide. Blanford's got them both. Lucas Blanford takes the lead with only a couple of laps to spare. What if he could beat the championship contenders on his debut? Can anybody spell Christmas present? Lucas <laughs> Blanford certainly can. He looked behind there as if to say, oh, what went on there? I don't care. I've got the lead. This is the biggest steal since the great train robbery. Lucas Blanford could snatch it from Leon Hasty and Cole Denham. And they just crossed the line with a handful of seconds left. So now he's got to hang on to this for two laps. Mission accepted. This is definitely going to be a difficult one for Blanford to hold on to. But Leon Hasty and Cole Denham 
first and third in the Drivers' Championship are going to see what this new boy is made of. I think on the radio we're hearing that Leon Hasty is under investigation for driving standards as he goes through to the lead and Denham goes through with him and just like that Blanford's back to third again. Well Denham gestures to Blanford, come on let's go get Leon, let's go get him, we can team up here. So this is an interesting battle, now it looks to me as though the officials are actually investigating Leon Hasty for gaining an unfair advantage. Would that be the move on Blanford? Well, it was a move on Denham, wasn't it? When Blanford went past, there was a bit of contact from behind, and that penalty could be as much as five seconds. Well, hopefully he's going to be able to keep his position in front of Denham and Blanford as they go into the final lap. Wolford on the inside of Friend. Oh, no, he's going to go into the barriers. Oh, dear. Now, that is almost certainly going to be an instant red flag. Yeah, well, just like last time, Jake, the marshal's running. He's got attendance well, with Albert, him. Albert Friend is barely in the cart, so that's clearly going to be a red flag. Yes, it is. Red flag, red flag. So the race is stopped. Now, that's going to cow back a lap. Yeah. Blanford's going to get the win. Blanford is going to get the I win. I don't believe it. Blanford is actually going to get the win here. They'll count it back a lap. So here's how it happened. Wolfit and Friend, look, they both drift off the circuit and their rear wheels connect. That's how Friend gets spat into the barriers. Now, despite that... He's actually going to be third because Hasty has got a penalty. Exactly. He'll be, he'll feel hard done by at the moment, but no one sees the result. Albert Friend in third place ahead of the championship leader. Hasty demoted to seventh. Denham and Friend are ahead of him in second and third. But Lucas Blanford on his debut in 2021, the Scot has won at home. It's a fairy tale ending. And this is a great result. Is this the first time you've had a result like this in this sort of championship? Yes, I'm, I'm very happy. So. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah. You should be too. Who do you want to thank though for the weekend? I would really want to thank um, RPM Racing Engines for giving us Mega Engines and Zipcar for helping me out. OK, well done. Thank you. Well, Lucas Blanford could take a bow winning at home, but Leon Hasty leads the championship from Cole Denham and Albert Friend. That mad result in the final keeps this title fight alive. Laughlin Johnstone and Gregor Reed in the top five. Charlie Wolfitt scoring well still, but with Reed, Bell, Musk and White all together, there's a lot that can still happen. Well, the Honda Cadets aren't the only youngsters running here this weekend. The Sodi Academy Micromax class also delivered some great racing across their final. So that's it for our first bout of racing from round three here at Lark Hall. Join us in the next programme where we'll be bringing you all of the action from the remaining finals featuring the IAMI classes. See ya.